Yes, I've been wanting to talk about this for a while. I know it's been on my radar for at least half a month or so, but I didn't really have a chance to talk about it. And I was like trying to find my footing for my channel. So right now I'm trying to do more discussion videos. But more importantly, yes, we've got something interesting on the horizon coming out this summer, which we are looking at about Q3. Uh, that means June, July onwards, the timing here. It looks really exciting. I'm looking so much forward to this. I know it's... Yeah. Is it a girl's thing to be looking forward to this? Let me know. Guys, if you want to prove me wrong, let me know down in the comments here. Okay, and let's talk more about this. Yeah. Tokukatsu! Hey everyone! Kachi Kachi Kate in the house and welcome to the Kate Dio. Oh no, Tokukatsu channel. Oh, sorry, I'm too excited. Anyway, I talk about Kamen Rider, Super Sentai, and Ultraman all on this channel. Yes, all your Toku stuff. And now, and today we are talking about right comments and upcoming mobile game. Alright, that is going to be involving handsome Kamen Rider guys. <laughs> I don't know if you know the term Jijinkas, okay, yeah, where it's like, you know, you have humanoid Pokemons. I don't mean like Gardevoir, I mean like, uh, even Pikachu in the sexy girl or sexy hot guy. <laughs> you, you get where I'm coming from. Okay, anyways, yeah. Alright, so, um, this is what I think is something more, it feels to me more like a Kamen Rider Jijinka than like an actual Kamen Rider, but I still call them Kamen Riders, okay? The right Kamen Steer. Hot, alright? First impressions of the game so far, yeah, or at least what I've seen so far is the direction of this game is definitely going more towards a female audience. Okay, yeah. I believe they are like, you know, starting to realize that hey, there's a very large and strong amount of female audience. And they're probably taking their first step into, you know, trying to cater this audience here. Yeah. I mean, probably guys will be interested in this as well, yeah, but from the art style, from their approach from how they're selling things so far, this feels like Fujo heaven. I mean, people who like Yaoi heaven. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you, you you get what I mean. It's like for the fangirls who like very interesting things. Okay, yeah. And it also occurs to me that there is zero girls in this game. I might be wrong. So far, I see zero girls in this game at all, yeah? I feel that's very intentional. <laughs> So you want your boobas, go elsewhere. Thank you, Nia. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I won't go into each of the characters specifically because I think there'll be a whole other video. I'll probably save that for another video where I, like, you know, uh, discuss each of the characters specifically. But I'm just going to go for an overview what I see, what I think about it. Yes, Nia. Mm. Uh, right off the bat, we've got various factions. Okay, the Justice, right? Mad guys, slam days, person things, tower emblem, and probably the bad guys. Okay, which is chaosism, and we got one hot Leon. Anyways, yeah, I think this is reminding me more of like um, heat mic is reminding me more of um, Banyaro is reminding me more of like B project, idolish seven. I'm so sorry if you don't understand or heard of these things that I'm coming out right now, like, like you know, spring off my mouth right now, Nia. Okay, because these are like, you know, very female orientated series. Mm -hmm. Alright, and putting their infections like this is just their way of selling. Trust me, there's a reason why they're selling it this way, Nia. Okay, like, off my mind, I can only tell you, there's one which is the delinquent gang, which is the mad guy, like, they're gonna be all delinquents, but behind the scenes, they're gonna be, have ver they have very soft heart. Justice Right is gonna be the default main characters group. <laughs> okay, and then you have all the cuties, alright, all in slam days. Okay, and then you know all the sophisticated ones in with some things. It's it's all there, okay, yeah. If you play enough like Fujo games, I mean like uh Otome games, you get where I'm coming from. <laughs> okay, so uh, just with this I really think they are targeting a female audience and I'm very appreciative of it. I know. They're killing my wallets, yet I'm appreciative of them trying to kill my wallet. <laughs> Alright, so uh, in terms of the walls, okay, yeah. Uh, basically, it is in a city where there's Kamen Riders and uh, the Chaos group of people are trying to cause trouble, and there are going to be like 16 individual with Kamen Rider powers. Pretty much a very quick summary. 
I don't think there is much to it. Usually, the synopsis for those kind of things are like really simple. The real story is in the romance. <laughs> I mean, in the interaction and friendship. Okay, and bromance. Okay, anyways, yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm like coming out of all the other terms that I usually don't use on this channel, but this is like, so exciting. Alright, so at the same time, we the one thing I think I want to really talk about is mostly the system or what the game is about, yeah? Oh, first thing first, we have at least 14 chapters, okay? And a full complete chapter at the end. Alright, so this is definitely a more vision over and story focus. And the way you see it is literally the way they sell, like, you know, um, character... Okay. Characters from like um, Hit Mike from B Project. It's really that sort of layout, but uh, this reminds me at least the menus now reminds me a bit of like Persona. Specifically, Persona 4. Yes, yeah. Okay, and then, yep, you can breezy see they are going into there's different factions. You can probably unlock different characters by rolling on the gacha. Yes. I foresee myself probably falling the gacha hell. Save the cat, so thank you, yeah. Alright, but I have no idea how the gacha system is going to be yet. Okay, it looks interesting. It looks like a dating sim. Okay, and then next thing is you can go to different parts of the city to do missions and all. Um, uh, yeah, you get to explore the characters differently and all. Uh -huh. Okay. More into the main gameplay part. This is a part where I'm genuinely a bit worried. Okay, Nia. Uh, the way the battle looks like it seems it's going to be similar to something like um, Fate Grand Order. All right, where you have all your characters there and then you let them uh battle. All right, I don't think Fate Grand Order was the correct one, Nia. Uh, it's something like Fate Grand Order, but without the cards in front, Nia. But at the same time. The one thing that's worrying me is the very big button called skip. I know, I know, this is so weird, yeah. Because it might be an auto battler. Mm. Hey, they basically say you can basically set a team of four and then go into battles, yeah. And then each one of them has a different finishing move. Pretty much that's it, yeah. So I'm really excited to see what is going to be in here, but. I'm also really worried that it can also turn out to be a rather lazy battling game. Because there are times where they have a very good series, a very popular series, and they come out a shitty game, but the shitty game somehow sells. Alright, because the series is popular. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Alright, so there's also like, you know, you can level and hang out at the bus for different interactions, and I can message them at all. The biggest problem I'm going to face in this one is I can barely read Japanese. This might turn out to become like, you know, one of the reasons I finally go and learn how to read Japanese properly now because it's like I can actually listen to Japanese. I, I know it's weird. I can actually listen to Japanese. I can actually hear Japanese. Okay, yeah, I know that's so weird to put it that way. It's like I watch all my camera rather and Super Sunday. Normally I watch them raw without subtitles. Okay, yeah, so uh I get the show, no problem. Uh, unless uh, I'm trying like, oh what the hell is a Malgram? Like you know, the first episode usually I get a bit confused, yeah. Uh, Jenny, once I know a turn like Malgram, then I know uh okay. Uh I know the uh Camis. I just need to know the keywords I usually can keep up with a show already near. So if I'm able to like just read, I probably can read and self listen to my own reading. I don't know. Okay, other side, yeah, this is what we have so far. Okay, and honestly, okay, it's gonna be on the Apple Store, it's gonna be on Google Play. I am very looking forward to this. But at the same time, I'm also kinda worried how this game will turn out to be. I still think it's a bit too early to judge the game. They are announcing it almost a good four months in advance here. Hmm. Alright, so let me know why your thoughts on this. Um Is there anything else you want me to like specifically cover in this? Like, you know. Regarding right comments, I'm gonna be covering the toys in a bit. Okay, but 
not in this video. So, uh, let me know. Is there anything else you want me to cover? Is there anything like, um, specifically you want me to cover more about the characters and all, which I will be doing a separate video on the characters separately, yeah? Okay, so let me know your thoughts and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, hot guys. Aloy. Ahoy. Meow.